Hello friends, in third part we have discussed and learned how to derive Michael Menten equation. And we have also seen the good enzyme definition means the enzyme which shows high KCAT to KM ratio. On right hand side of the screen on top you will find the link for part 3 of this 8th lecture. So let's elaborate about efficient enzyme terms. So we have KCAT term. From where this KCAT came? So we know from our third part we have seen 8th equation which was Vmax is equal to K2 into total enzyme concentration. So this K2 is nothing but KCAT and by shifting the position you will get K2 or KCAT is equal to Vmax by total enzyme concentration. If we know the Vmax and total enzyme concentration, then we can calculate the KCAT value, which is very important. And second term is Km. So what is this Km? Km is Michaelis maintained constant, we know. We can explain it by using reaction rate constant, where K-1 plus K2 divided by K1. K-1 plus K2 reflects the breakdown of enzyme substrate complex and K1 reflects the formation of enzyme substrate complex. And by solving the complete equation, we have derived this Michaelis Menten equation. And this equation generates hyperbolic plot. If you see carefully to this hyperbolic plot, you will find this curve line is creating some problems. Which problems? Let's see. The curve line shows three different distinct Vmax points. So it is impossible to determine exact Vmax value. To solve this critical problem, another pair of genius scientists came forward who known as Lineweaver and Burke, which are shown in these photographs. They have transformed the Michaelis Menten equation into the Lineweaver Burke equation. To carry out this, they have taken double reciprocal of Michaelis Menten equation. The reciprocal means they have inverted the Michaelis Menten equation. So by inverting the Michaelis Menten equation, it generates Lion Weaver Burke equation, which was given by those scientists. And as Michaelis Menten equation generates hyperbolic plot, the Lion Weaver Burke equation generates Lion Weaver Burke plot, which is nothing but a straight line plot. So it is important how they have derived the line weaver burke equation using Michaelis Menten equation as a base. Let's see how they have transformed the Michaelis Menten equation into the line weaver burke equation. Here we have Michaelis Menten equation which is V means velocity is equal to V max into substrate concentration divided by Km plus substrate concentration. We have seen how to derive this equation. So we have mentioned here Michaelis Menten equation. By inverting this equation, you will get 1 upon V at left hand side is equal to Km plus substrate concentration divided by Vmax into substrate concentration. And after solving this equation, you will get 1 upon V at left hand side is equal to Km divided by Vmax into substrate concentration plus substrate concentration divided by Vmax into substrate concentration. And after cancelling the substrate concentration at numerator and denominator, you will get the final equation of line weaver burks equation that is 1 upon V at left hand side is equal to Km divided by Vmax into substrate concentration plus 1 upon Vmax. This equation is known as Lion Weaver Burke equation, which is a transformation of Michaelis Menten equation. And if we separate out the entities in this equation, you will get 1 upon V is equal to Km divided by Vmax into 1 upon substrate concentration plus 1 upon Vmax. This is just a separation of Lion Weaver Burke equation. Why we are talking about this equation? Because this equation generates straight line plot, which is an essential thing in order to find exact 
Vmax value, which was the problem with Michaelis Menten plot, where it produces curved line, which is known as hyperbolic plot. So to solve that problem, here we have generated line weaver Berg equation, which will produce a straight line plot. So let me ask you, what is the basic straight line equation? Yes, y equal to mx plus c. And if you use this equation in correlation with line weaver Berg equation, if you align these two equation one above another, you will find helpful for to plot straight line plot or line weaver Berg plot. How? Let's see. For plot drawing, we require x axis and y axis. So here x axis and y axis we have plotted. So from line weaver Berg equation, the 1 upon v represents the y axis value, where 1 upon subset concentration represents x axis value. And if you draw a straight line on this plot, you will find there are two interception points on this graph. First interception point on y axis and another interception point on x axis. The interception point on y axis is nothing but 1 upon Vmax value. And the slope which is generated by the straight line represents the Km divided by Vmax value. So here we have shown four different entities from line weaver Berg equation on line weaver Berg plot. As this plot shows straight line, that's why it is also known as a double reciprocal plot or straight line plot or line weaver Berg plot. Why double reciprocal? Because Michaelis Menten equation is inverted on both side of the equation. That's why double reciprocal name is given. If you look at line weaver Berg plot carefully, you will see a comparison with Michaelis Menten plot, which was a hyperbolic plot where on x axis subset concentration goes on increasing on right hand side which indicates the increasing subset concentration increases the Vmax as indicated here. If you consider this as a zero and if you go to the right hand side to the plus side actually you will see the increasing subset concentration value shows the relationship with increasing in Vmax. But uh, if you look at line viewer Berg plot, the scenario is something different where the value goes near to the zero or at left hand side, which indicates the more substrate concentration. This is an important point to remember. We are talking about the representation of substrate concentration which affects on Vmax. The representation of substrate concentration is different in Michaelis Menten plot and line viewer Berg plot. So, in term of line weaver Berg plot, when we say subset concentration is large, so it indicates 1 upon subset concentration value is less because it is in inverted fashion. So, this is something a limitation of line weaver Berg plot. To overcome this limitation, there are other scientists came forward who have given AD Hofstede plot and hence. Wolf plot. So we are not going to detail study about these plots. Here I am just representing or mentioning the differences in line weaver Berg plot and Michaelis Menten plot in term of expression of their entities for enzyme kinetics especially. Uh, this is a highlight point I would like to mention that no any reaction can be studied in enzyme kinetics without the knowledge of line weaver Berg plot. So by studying this, we can determine the Vmax and whole reaction kinetics.